I wonder what it could be this time. Attention, yeah. What's wrong? You may have noticed we stopped as for the cause. Outside the gate. We'll take a look. Oh, no. I hope it's just a quick snow shoveling job. Indeed. It's freezing. What the? You fuck better is keep that? moving to stay warm. The Glacian did this. I think I can see her. It's a shame. She's lying dead. <laughs> Damn. Wait, that's her? Let's clean up out here. Warm the up. Glacian? The guard? Better make this snappy. Wait, where's that? Death, Dream Reaper, motherfucking uh, race. <laughs> Okay, it doesn't work on him. He's weak. Ah, shit. Wait, where's my friends? Oh. I had time of killing the goblin. Or the snaga. They really grim this motherfucker. Shit. Oh. Shit. Who I raped? Just the thing. We almost got we almost killed him. Kill him? Yeah, we got him, we got him. He was an annoying motherfucker. Oh, there's another one! Oh shit, there's two of them. I didn't know there was two of them. Shit. Gladio. Nice try. Sorry to break this up. Too late. Oh, he's almost there. There we go. I get a ring. He's looking at me. Oh no, he, his hand turns blue. I don't know what it does. Doesn't matter, he's dead. What the fuck is what the fuck is that? Defeat the death claw. There's no fucking uh, uh, fall, uh, fallout. What the fuck? Oh my god! <laughs> Arr, undergrad! Come on, come on, come on. I got this. Dude, what the fuck is this? It's no... They look like a fucking insect. Oh shit. I gotta heal. I don't trust myself. You wanna let me heal, uh. I gotta give him a potion. I have just five weakness. There we go, it's enough. Yeah. Can I get something if I cut his tail off? Yeah. What if I use the like does it work on him? Yeah. Shit. Don't block it. What's his weakness? What's his weakness, Ignis? Tills Hurry up. Ain't got time to waste. I think I don't know that. Hey, knocked! What's up? You better get in here. Something's got not it. right. Come on, there in a sack. Right. <laughs> no. 
No way. You! Hold it! Oh, that son of a bitch. I think he's playing mind games. Oh, maybe that's Ignis, but... The hell? Arduin is, like, pretending to be him. Or he's, like, Arduin is, like, in his mind. Get up. Why not lend them a hand? A coldness that can only be hers. Safeguarded this star since time immemorial, each of a different mind, but united by this common purpose. The gods' protection extends to all creatures here below, even to the mortals created in their image. They are feeble creatures leading fragile lives and clinging to foolish fancies. The Frostbearer scorns these visions of hope, which melt like snow in the sun's light. Yet the pyre burner admires their strength of will. For their reverence, he grants unto them his flame, and the world of man flourishes. His benevolence warms the frozen heart of the frost bearer. The mortals have earned her respect, he, her love and admiration. It is not long, however, before some among those men ascend to new heights of hubris. The people of Solheim spurn the gods who bless them. The gods they once worshipped. The ungrateful mortals incur the wrath of the pyre burner. He seeks to raise the very civilization his flames once helped build. But the six are sworn to defend the star and all her inhabitants from harm, and, at times, from one another. The flames of war surge as Solheim fends off the pyre burner's fire. The gods' pleas for peace fall on deaf ears, and the battle rages on. When the smoke clears, the world of man is in ruins, their star left scarred for time eternal. Wearied from war, the six seek solace in slumber. This tale of our shared past is entrusted to the King of Kings. That he may see it to its conclusion. Days that follow the war, while the six are still asleep, the pyre burner is sought by a man who draws him away from the light. His peril is sensed by the frost bearer. She rushes to his aid, only to be felled by the foreign hordes. Those masses are now one with the darkness. 
darkness that before long will swallow the six and the star they protect. This star's fate no longer rests in the hands of the gods. It sits on the shoulders of the Chosen. Deliver this world from darkness and grant my love release. I promise I will. The Oracle is no longer of this world, but her thoughts remain, and they must be known. begins his existence on this star, the girl is met by the High Messenger. It is ordained that she will work with him to return the light. The girl reaffirms that promise. The High Messenger is moved by the girl's determination, her heart warmed by the girl's benevolence. Her faith in mankind is restored once more. Sister, cease this madness. That boy will never be king. Noctis is chosen. It is ordained. You of all people should know. I know that you are throwing your life away. That may be. But it's my choice. If only... If only I could hear his voice once more. If we could laugh together as we did as children. <laughs> if we could live out our days together as we once dreamed. Wherefore does the lady weep? Forgive me. I vowed to only cry where prying eyes cannot see the tears in mine. Yet others need not hide their grief. Is she so different from them? No. She is no different at all. She wants exactly what they do. To be with the one she loves. But want though she may. It is not to be. The lady's thoughts have been hurt. The love she bears the king shall never fade. And, in time, her feelings shall be known unto him. Gentiana. And if the words are not spoken from her lips, then the messenger shall see that they are heard. The god's favor and the lady's love shall be with him evermore. Thus it is promised between the Oracle and her familiar. I am undeserving of your kindness. Thank you. So the promise is fulfilled. As her words go with him, so shall my blessing. Yeah. Thanks. O King of Kings, restore the light unto this world. Farewell, dear Noctis. Luna, I'm sorry. I'm sorry I couldn't be there for you. Not even when you needed me most. There was so much you wanted to say. So much I wanted to say. And now,
I won't let you down. I know you won't. Did the snow just came in? <laughs> the, the frost on him? Like, it just appeared out of nowhere. So, yeah. Um, I pretty much get what she said. She wants uh, the gods um rule the world. She used to kill people. <laughs> I don't know why. Then another god, like, uh, the fire god, helped the people to get, stay warm against her. Then suddenly she and the fire god were in love. Then uh, the the humans built. I, I don't. I, I forgot. I forgot the thing about the humans that the fire gods started getting mad at the humans. Maybe they didn't worship him no more. And they he started attacking them. Then the gods all went against him to stop him. And right now, when I said about the pa uh, the future, it sounds like uh some darkness is, is corrupting the humankind. Even corrupted the fire god, it, it sounds like it. Is is Ardrin the one who's corrupting them? The Cause he he's the Soviet vision. He, he like come out of nowhere. He stopped time. <laughs> he's fucking frozen, I remember that. <laughs> he was frozen. Uh, he was trying to talk, I he, he's the fucking <laughs> She fucking put her finger to make him shut up. <laughs> Alright, let's see. Let's get the Trident of the Oracle. Right. Sir, bitch. Is he what dead? Are you looking at? Hey. Wake up. Yeah, what happened? No. Are you alright? Yeah. I saw the glacier. It's okay. She's gone now. You guys check out our drivers. Got it. You good? Yes, I'm fine. Let's go. Wait, is Arjun dead? No, he can't be dead. He can't be dead. He's like the cocky motherfucker. Like he, 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 like uh, oh, like he could do anything. Like nothing could stop him. Did he stop time before she like froze him? Maybe. <laughs> I feel I've earned the right to call you not. <laughs> For a moment, I felt death's chill wind. Such is the might of the gods. But then I remembered I'm immortal. Such is my blessing and curse. Your attack hurt me, nevertheless. My feelings, at least. And after all the memories we've shared, remember this. Ah, I should have asked if you remember him. Truly a blast from the past. Nay. Ah, ah, ah. You mustn't take what's not yours. Where is he? He? <laughs> the little gunman's a short shot away. Where? Where else but Gralia, the seat of the Empire? I'm sure he'll be delighted to see you. And you might even find your crystal. With all these demons about, you could certainly use it. <laughs> Off you go, then. I wouldn't want to keep you from your friend.
Wait, wait, wait. Did he just put a bomb in the fucking train? Is that what it looked like? He just like had like a switch on his hand. It looked like he he put a bomb in the train. <laughs> <laughs> 